Thank you so much, Asha and uh, team. Let's continue the conversation right now. In fact, the need for female social and economic empowerment in South Africa is great. And thankfully, there are people and organizations who make it their goal to address this and in the most fundamental way. Now, a young initiative called 100 Female Strong is kicking off their efforts with a Women's Day event that will bring together women from different sectors to uplift one another. And joining us now to tell us all about it is the director of the Unlimited movement, Jonathan Ray Joseph, and one of the event's speakers, health coach, Nicole Reinhardt. Guys, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Happy Women's Month. We always want to say happy. We want to celebrate these moments because there is so much to celebrate when it comes to the achievements and acknowledgement of women and the role that they've played in South Africa. But there is a dark side to that conversation and to this narrative that unfortunately only seems to be getting darker. We have some of the most marginalized women in society anywhere in the world here in South Africa, but there is this drive for women to empower each other, to stand up and do it for themselves. And maybe that's at the heart of this event. Maybe I can start with you, Jonathan. Talk me through the event. The name in itself is provocative and inspires action, it which is, is what, we, what we need. But maybe you can give me a bit of background. Well, a number of the movement has been doing projects every year over the last decade. But this year specifically, we then aim to have a whole strong unit because of solidarity between a lot of women. When they stand together, they stand together like a rock and nothing yeah. can move them. And this whole movement came actually from the cyberbullying that started happening since 2020 when the COVID started happening. People went into, into isolation and young women were more cyberbullied really? via Twitter, Instagram, all social media accounts. And from that, because I work with a lot of young women, this initiative came where I told themselves that you can be solid when you stand together, stand against the adversities of life, the fundamentals of those who want to destroy you, stand against them and be together. Like a fist, like a rock. You, you got fire in your eyes this morning, Nicole, and I love it. This is obviously tapping into something that has been a very personal journey for you. Maybe you want to give me a bit of background as to your own kind of transitional journey through this phase, but also why I would imagine it's such an honor being included as one of the keynote speakers. Well, first of all, I absolutely didn't see myself sitting here, you know, really? seven years later after starting my journey. So it's been, it's been such a challenge. It's been an emotional journey, a mental journey, a physical journey. I'm losing over 40 kilograms. Wow. And over the last seven years, all I can say is, that the fundamental change for me was shifting my mindset from that victim mentality that everything was happening to me and not for me and then getting into a position where I finally made the choice and the decision to make that change and take control of my life and realize that my health is my responsibility. Your choice. My mindset is my responsibility. Your choice. My yeah. everything is your choice. So I think with this project, working with Jonathan and getting involved with him has been such a blessing and such an amazing opportunity because for the last seven years, it's been about me. But now I, I have the opportunity and we have the opportunity to impact young women and to yeah. impact women and men and just to help them with their, their mindsets and let them realize that, you know what, it's that self-reliance. It's, it's up to them. And I love that saying, you know, what if it's to be, it's up to me. Mm. And I really, truly believe that. So I'm just looking forward to this event. I'm looking forward to yes. seeing women just change and, and, and just become forward. the best versions of themselves. So I'm just so excited and I, I'm very emotional. So but let's, it's good. let's, it's let's a, it's, <laughs> But it is, it's something to get emotional about because yeah. we, we need that right now more yeah. than ever before in light of, yeah. I think you, know, you, you, you raise people being isolated through COVID-19. Yeah. Mental health has been affected more than ever before. Yeah. Social economic status has been affected yeah. ever before and we've seen abuse statistics just mm -hmm. skyrocket. Mm -hmm. At the heart of an event like this, yes, the intentions are good, but you've still got to have these amazing speakers sure. and sure. a panel that's yeah. going to get this across and actually hopefully create a platform for, for women to be inspired. So talk yeah. me through the panel and the activities. What can people get out of the, the day's activities? Well, we actually were able to manage to pack a whole program for everybody that will be attending the event. We have the awesome dancers, the 100 Female Strong that is being choreographed by Amy. She will be performing right now. And even in that story, I want to share this, that we offer the table or we open it up to everybody to come on board. And Amy accepted that challenge. And I mean, like what she did in the last four months, 
of training these young girls, but teaching them how to be responsible, how to be disciplined. That is happening with the dance. And it's then we have dance, yeah. a panel of speakers like Michelle Benjamin, who's the magistrate of court. We got Jessica Prida from Geberga, who is part of um, the Desmond Tutu Foundation. We have different speakers of different cultures and races all females, then these are females that will be not able to share their story only, but to be able to participate with other females that will be there. Because like we said, we need people to stand together in solidarity against what's happening in society. And more so, we actually partner up with the Gallery 44 that will be with us, and they're actually supporting this whole cause for the event in itself. So we're actually excited to host it at Gallery 44. Oh, no, um, I, I think they are living proof, everyone who is a part of this, um, that you can do something about it. Likewise, men can do something about this to create that platform for the strong woman that's at their True. side. All the best of luck. I love the fact that you're going to be raising funds for sanitary towels and toiletries for Ihata Shelter as well. So there are layers to, to what you are offering. Yeah. Um, but I think most sure importantly, you, you have a platform and you are using it. So thank you so much and good luck. Enjoy it. Save thank every second us. of it. I think people are going to love walking this journey with you. The 100 Female Strong Women's Day event is taking place on uh, Monday the 9th of August at Gallery 44 and Theatre at uh, 44 on Long Street in Cape Town from 9am. Tickets are just 150 rand but you can get all of the info and um, how to buy them more on the incredible lineup of speakers, their profiles for the event on the 100 Female underscore Strong Facebook page, engage with them, ask questions, raise that conversation yourself. And we've enjoyed the past Friday dance, um, which was spectacular last Friday with dancers from this event. We could see the fire in their eyes as well. And they're on standby with another powerful performance at the end of today's show to help us uh, kick off our month, our Women's Month, with a bang.